So, have you actually had this on a rolling road? Uh, I have, yeah. So it made 440 brake horsepower yeah. and 596 newton meters of torque. That is crazy. I just want to say the turbo is almost as big as the two liter engine. Look at the size of it. And you can see the uh, the pipe down there as well. That's like a, that's like a, is that a three inch downpipe? Three inch decap downpipe, yeah. <laughs> that is massive. And then here's the uh, air intake there as well, which is actually, looks good. And it's obviously somewhat functional as well because it comes in through there, I guess. It's, yeah, enclosed and then comes in through the grill. Yeah, because yeah, you've got the seal on top. Yeah, nice. MST as well, is it, yeah? Yeah. Cool. That is awesome. So yeah, this thing, the engine isn't actually that big, but unbelievable performance. From it you're going to see it very soon it is crazy we'll talk about the exterior now and have a little walk around and see what's been done there tell me more about this one then so this is the facelift version so they did two versions um the facelift and the pre-facelift um this one's a 2016 facelift version so it's got a slightly different front bumper a um, couple of different options inside uh, the 19 inch wheels which everyone seems to buy as you mentioned um led lights front and rear um that, that's about it really everything else is almost identical to the uh pre-facelift versions yeah so before we get to the wheels and the fitment and all that because I, I love these wheels um what have you done to the front is, is the carbon is that fa is that from factory so is that no, an option? that's a carbon fiber inlay front grille yeah um and that matches with the carbon fiber side skirts uh, down the side yeah oh yeah you can see we'll get to those in a minute and then the i've got carbon fiber spats as well um just to stop any crap rolling up the side of the car oh yeah front wheels yeah are these can yards? Are they factory? Are they? They're factory fitted, so it's the Aero Pack. Oh, um, nice. Factory fitted from Mercedes. Yeah. I love how it's just in your face, and it just should be because it's not something to mess with on the roads, one of these. Um, I mean, I must admit, I was out in this with him earlier, and it was a, what was that, a Scirocco R? A Scirocco R. And yeah. it was like, it was stood still, the Scirocco R. It was <laughs> just in the way, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. We're all down the side anyway. These wheels, I don't know what they're called, do you know the name of the wheels? I haven't got a clue, no, they were the option on the facelift version of these. Yeah, they are lovely, and a lot of people do, like I was saying earlier, to you, people do buy these and put them on, obviously less than Mercedes or others, but they look really decent. I love how the centre pops out from the actual rim, which is awesome. And these are, are they, are they four, four pot? Uh, they're four pots, yeah. yeah, huge, huge brakes. It does stop very, very well. Yeah, to prefer, I'll add to that, it does stop very well. I mean, I don't know what these weigh. Are they, they're probably quite heavy for a hatchback, aren't they? These? They're about 1,700 kilos yeah. because of the four-wheel drive system. Yeah, of course. It's going to be, but, I mean, it is just it's unbelievable. And you'll see more of that to come in a moment. But what we'll do is we'll roll down here. Let me show you these um, carbon spats that, luckily, you haven't hit just yet, I don't think. But I, I think I have on the other side. Have you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. Yeah, they're nice with the black down the side. What would that? Has that always been black? Or yeah, that's always gray? black. Yeah, yeah, nice. And then down on the rear end, I'm assuming that's the aero wing. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is with these sort of cars, I've seen them about and they just don't, they're a bit of a sleeper to be fair, but I just think with these cars, you have to go all out and be a bit bonkers with it really. Yeah, so. And is that the standard tips? Standard exhaust tips, yeah. 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 And that little diffuser, is that, is that standard as well? Standard as well, yeah. Is it, yeah. That's really nice. I see you did a good job with these at a factory and making them look sort of elegant, but pretty crazy at the same time. And, um, this, if I'm correct to say, there's a newer work version now, isn't there? But that's the, is it the A3? There is the A45. A45. So the A45S is okay. the new version. Um, I think that they've released them with 414 brake horsepower from the factory now. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty much the same engine. Yeah. Now I'm liking the older style. I mean, did you pick this up from new or is this something you've... No, this was uh, second hand. I brought it uh, about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Um, after I had a C220 coupe diesel. Um, wanted something a little bit sporty so i looked for one that hadn't been messed around with or um you know had loads of stuff stuck on it like you do i just look for a clean example yeah um, it's a nice base to work with and then you don't really need to do much to them they they look quite nice out of the factory yeah so definitely it's definitely an oem plus so look does the black roof is that like an option with that uh, that's an option yeah yeah that's nice black mirror caps looks good and i want to mention one thing that i have almost forgotten which we could have missed out of the video but we're here now and we're going to say it you're probably looking at the fitment and thinking that looks quite low, and it actually is very low. I was even more surprised about it, as I was expecting him to say, oh yeah, I'm running coilovers, but he's not, he's on springs. So not only is he sat like this, but that's pretty amazing for springs. Normally you've always got a bit of a sort of gap with springs, but that sits 
really, really nice. So you said 25 mil on it. 25 said. mil HD yeah. lowering springs, yeah. That is mental. I must say, that rear tyre is so warm, but I look at it and think, why is it warm? But I know, because it's a wheel drive, and the amount of like, the amount of grip this thing has is just unbelievable. So we're gonna jump in the car now, and we're gonna show you what this is all about. So you join me in the A45, and before it gets a little Larry, I'm gonna tell you now, we're in comfort mode. And actually, it is super quiet in here. Very well built car, as you would expect. I must admit, it's on the firm side, partly down to the springs, but it is actually very comfortable. The seats are very, very supportive, um, but they're also really comfortable. So this is definitely something you could drive in long term. I mean, in terms of the interior and what you see in front of you, I will show you. It is not bad. I'm loving the little set of display on there as well. Pops up with the little AMG thing on there when you, uh, when you turn it on as well. Do any of your dials and stuff change when you flick onto one of your more aggressive modes on this day as they are? Uh, it does, yeah, they do change. Yeah. Put it in sport mode, it's uh, or individual. It tells you what it is and everything goes perfect. I mean, you can hear it straight away, it's holding the gears. Yeah. It's holding the revs. And like you were saying on here, you had, um, was it Comfort Sport, Sport Plus, and then you had an individual, individual mode? Individual, yeah. yeah. And what does that let you actually change? So you can change the uh, responsiveness of the steering, mm. um, you can change the aggressiveness of the gearbox, and you can change uh, the manual and all <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, what's the responsiveness on the actual throttle as well? Yeah. Oh, nice. But you can feel it holding on to those gears as you go through. So this is a seven-speed box, which is quite interesting, and um, actually it is just, it transitions between them really well. Is this in, is this in the Sports Plus moment now? This is an individual at the moment. Oh, yeah. So this is exactly the same as Sports Plus, but with the valved exhaust open. Oh yeah. It has got a button. Whether it makes any function, because it sounds like you're saying to me, actually thinking about it, it does sound fairly similar to be fair. Whether it's open or closed, so. But yeah, I mean, we're going around a corner at just a normal speed, and I mean, there is no body roll at all. Literally nothing. saying all together a nice peppy engine a fairly light car for what it is all-wheel drive short wheelbase good tires good suspension setup yeah it's 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 amazing I'm very impressed and you get pops and bangs as well we all like that <laughs> and like I said there's no one else really on the road in most cars that would even have a chance of keeping up to be honest for being real because it's just sublime um, I would show you how I'm reacting to the G Force of the corner, but we are stuck behind uh, some Sunday poodlers. <laughs> Questionable, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we'll come back to that in a minute. So we're going to go around a sort of sharpish left hand bend and. Here we go. Now is my head getting pushed back into the seat then? It's so linear as well, man. Right? Yep, still going, still pulling, still pulling, still pulling, still pulling. There is no, no stopping. And those brakes as well, if you want to press my bit on. Yep, you'll see me coming out of the seat. They work as well. Superb. <laughs> what I say, Mercedes have literally, I mean, I know you've made a few adaptions to it, of course, but probably out of the factory, Mercedes did fine tune this very well. It's a very good all round car, definitely. And you've just made it even, even more quicky, quicker and pokey than it, than it was before, so. Right, let me just, it takes a little while to pick up, so. Right guys, so we're doing the 0-60 run. The fastest time on the channel so far was the crazy little 106 Peugeot, we did it in five seconds. And we've also also had the Range Rover at 5.1. So I don't know what we're gonna go for here, but we will see. I don't know if this is still timing us if we've, uh, it's already started for some reason. I better stop. We definitely haven't moved. <laughs> Um, how do I restart that? I'm having, having difficulties, I'll be back in a minute. 
So when you're ready, it's ready to go. Let's do it. Okay. I'm gonna try and brace myself. Oh, I did not. To, for fuck's sake, I did not defer to. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Why have I not to 30? What's a donut? Self, mate. We have stopped, you piece of shit. <laughs> right, ready, let's go. Shut up! Shut, shut up! No way! Right, look at this. This is the first run, ready? 3.1 seconds. That is mad. There we go, look. You see that? 3.1? Nice! Oh, <laughs> 3.1. That's it now. No more reviews. Channel over. No, no one's going to come now. <laughs> so yeah, firmly on the leaderboard. I mean, it was expected, of course. But yeah, 3.1 on the first run. That was without launch control, right? Without launch control. Okay, yeah. that's. that's we'll try it with now. Okay, we'll try it with. Do you want to do three runs or just two? You're pretty brave with two. Oh, so, two, do two, two. Cool. That's at least we know the app's working anyway. That's that's mad. That is mad. Right then, let's get set back up. <clears throat> the thing is, because it's so linear, it doesn't feel like it's going as quick as it is. Yeah. Because I've I'll sit on the motorway sometimes and I'll kind of put my foot down a little bit, and I'm doing 140. Yeah. And you don't feel like you're doing 140 mile an hour. It's crazy. Take a second to set this up. So I'll, if you want to start your video. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's cool. Well, I guess I keep moving my, it's because I keep moving my bloody phone. It's not picking up the video. I have stopped moved. Right, it's preparing. Right. Okay, so the second run, with launch control, let's go. That fast though. And, oh, no, it, it, it glitched out, but then seven seconds that's definitely not right. <laughs> it's got. Yeah, I think I've done it too many times now. Yeah. I'll have to try it without. Yeah, try it without. It's okay. It's a shame because that felt quick. I know, so we can't get the complete fast run because the app's playing up and because it only works every few times, doesn't it? Because it's quite hot outside launch control so we're gonna go for one final one ready when you are that definitely wasn't six seconds I think it's the fucking phone playing up so yeah press start so we're using his phone now because it's probably mine Sounds about right. Um, yeah, so you want to wait. That says it's ready. So yeah, when you're ready, mate, go. Oh, I'm car shifted to one side then. <laughs> That's not right. I don't know why it's picking it's that not up. Right, is it? No. It's definitely not seven seconds. So what I've gathered from this is, is I need to buy a draggy box. <laughs> Because <laughs> the phones are being very terminal. It's probably just this little area where we're in or something. But what I'm going to say is, so far we have had the 3.1. We're going to stay with the 3.1 because that is definitely bang on. That's definitely correct. Um, but we have been trying to get some other runs. They've been showing very inconsistent, weird times that are just not even right. So, we're going to try again. But if not, 3.1 is the answer. Registering it, is it? No, it's just too fast. Yeah, apparently we we did not to 60 and it's still counting at the moment. <laughs> well, I think we'll just leave it with that, but we'll go with the 3.1. We'll take the first one as gospel because that is definitely correct. So 3.1 is the score. Here's the winner. Well done. So, in terms of running costs, wash your tax insurance and your fuel bill, like. Uh, so, 
tax, I, I'm, I'm old, so insurance we won't go into, but let's just say it's less than £100 a month. Is it? Um, wow. With everything declared as well. Wow, that's and awesome. I've got an agreed, uh, an agreed value policy on the car. Oh, um, Fuel bill, I mean, it, it, it does and averages about 19 miles to the gallon. Um, I use it as a daily driver. Yeah. So it's not great. I probably put 70 quid in every... 19? I would have thought you more than that. No. About every week and a half, I put about 70 quid in. Yeah. So it's... Um, is that even with granny, even with granny driving? Not with granny it? driving, but when you when you put your foot down, yeah. you, you're probably... I mean, I filled up... Uh, well, I didn't fill up. I put three quarters of a tank in when I picked you up. Yeah. We're just above half now. And we've not really been anywhere or done anything. <laughs> No, we so haven't actually. It actually drinks fuel when you put your foot down. Yeah. Um, taxis, uh, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's definitely not that expensive. Um, obviously, the, the, the tax, when they first came out, I think you have to pay that like £500 or something for the first year, don't you, or two years. Yeah. And then it drops down. So, with this being a seven year old car, it's below that now. That's very reasonable, um, yeah. But yeah, I think, I, I mean, I think the tax direct debit is something like 17 quid a month. Yeah. It's nothing really. No, I mean, you don't buy a car like this to obviously go around and get view, good fuel economy, but it's good to know that it's... Uh, yeah, it's, well, I, I don't really pay attention to it, to be honest with you. I, I fill it up when it needs filling up. I tax it. I service it. That's it. Yeah. It's whatever it needs, it gets. Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah, it's decent. What about um, what about spec-wise? What have you got spec-wise on this one? Um, so... Pretty much the only thing this one hasn't got is the pano roof. Yeah. So they do a pano roof version um, and the electric seats. Everything else it's got, there isn't anything else that you can spec. Um, oh, and the adaptive damping, it hasn't got adaptive damping. But bells and whistles, realistically, the adaptive damping, can't use it with lowering springs. The electric seats, eh, it's nice to have, but realistically, how many times do you use them? You know? Yeah, yeah, um, of course. Panoramic roof would have been nice, but this Wait. one came up at the right time, right price, so I brought it. It's probably the weight of those two combined as well is, is quite a fair amount. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's the police car that someone put a sticker on in one of my videos. Uh, I don't know, I have to double check, it probably isn't, but uh, yeah, if you check out the video that will be in the description of this one, you'll see where someone put a sticker on a fed car up here in Swindon, <laughs> just like that one. But yeah, there we go, so it's a good all-rounder, it literally does everything you want. And it doesn't really attract police attention either, which is also helpful. I'm done with the green out monsters. I don't deal with no greed and envy. I'm trying to live life like a roster, but demons keep trying to tempt me. I wanna spend money on lobster. I won't stop till I'm driving a Bentley. Swallow your fucking pride, I'm faithless. You ain't gonna forget. <laughs>